So what really happened out in Hollister, California in 1947? Was it really a riot? Let's talk about it, coming up. In the early days, motorcycle clubs, for the most part, were racing teams that competed against each other at motorcycle rallies. Hollister, California had been hosting an annual motorcycle racing rally since the early 1930s. After breaking for World War II, the AMA sanctioned the Gypsy Tour Motorcycle Rally in Hollister for the first time since 1941. Prior to World War II, the rally had regularly drawn about a thousand attendees per year. And so in 1947, when they fired it back up, they were anticipating and prepared for about a thousand attendees to appear. However, some things had changed. Harley Davidson had mass produced a military motorcycle for the government in World War II. And as a result, lots of the nation's young men learned how to ride a bike. So when 4,000 attendees showed up instead of a thousand, that created some logistical problems. To put it simply, the relatively small town of Hollister simply wasn't equipped to house an extra 4,000 guests. The result was pretty predictable with about half the crowd having nowhere to sleep. Well, they ended up hanging out on Main Street and drinking and drag racing and maybe a little scuffle here and there. It was enough for the seven-man force of the Hollister Police Department to feel overwhelmed, and so they called in the state police, and arrests started getting made. About 50 in all. So there was never any actual riot. Things got a little bit out of hand, but it was really just kind of like a party gone wild. About 50 people were arrested, mostly for minor infractions like public intoxication, but that didn't stop the media from picking up the story. And well, by the time it hit the mainstream press, it had become a full-blown riot by a bunch of bikers that had invaded an unsuspecting town, which was nothing like what actually happened. Life magazine staged this photo with beer bottles all around the bike and ran it in their national publication. In response to all the uproar that created, the American Motorcycle Association, who of course hosted the motorcycle rally in Hollister, made a press release indicating that 99% of all motorcyclists are law-abiding citizens. And it's the 1% of bikers out there, like the ones in Hollister, that give the rest of motorcyclists a bad name. The inference is that it was the outlaw clubs, not the AMA teams, that were causing the problems that day. And so the outlaw clubs broke their patches into three pieces and proudly embraced the 1% title. 